Salesforce technologies. Now, we have seen so far services we have seen. Now, we are going to see the technologies that are used in the Salesforce. Now, type of software technologies. So, technology used for the Salesforce applications that are front end, that means user interface. There are three things are there front end, which is nothing but a user interface. Backend, which is nothing but a database and storage, and then business logic. These three things are important front end, back end, business logic. Front end is nothing but user interface that enables a user to interact with the devices. Now, if the user has to, like, front end is always where we will be having a interactions with the users, where the users are directly entering the data on the front end. Backend is nothing but backend is where the data is stored in the database. Now in Salesforce, we are using the database.com for the storage. So backend is for the storage and the database. Now business logic, business logic is the programming language or a programming that means to communication between the user interface and database. That means between the front end and back end, it has to business logic will always stay. Now we have a front end and back end. Between these two, it is always we have a business log. The standard or a customized, whatever it may be, business logic has to be there. If it is a standard, Salesforce is providing the business logic there. So it is a communication between the user interface and database. In order to have a communication, in order to manage the communication between these two, we need a business logic. Now, let's take a scenario here. So, Salesforce application functionality and technologies. So, we know the backend is database. That means in Salesforce, we have a database.com. In the database.com, we are going to store the data, which is a, now the data is stored in the Salesforce with the form of rows and columns. In the form of rows and columns, in the organized way, the data gets stored into the database.com and which is in the format of RDBMS. Now, in the front end, front end is nothing but user interface. In the front end, now we have implemented a, some application here. Now, in front end, the application, the let's assume the application is we are searching the account details. Account is a one object or one table. So, similar like a, uh, you have an Excel sheet, right? In the Excel sheet, or it's kind of a table, right? So let me open this Excel sheet. Now this is one object, sheet one, and the sheet two is another object, sheet three is another object, or these are called as a sheet one table, sheet, sheet two table, or a sheet three table, right? So a sheet one table is this one, you can enter the columns and rows, everything you can enter the information here. Right? These are data you can enter whatever you want. You can enter in the sheet one table. Similarly, sheet two table, you can store the different information. Similarly, in the sheet three table, you can use the different information. Now here, like a sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, we have a account. Account is the, in Salesforce, we have a account table or an account object. Let's assume that instead of a sheet, now I'm going to rename this as a account. Now this is the account table. This is the account table. Now in the account table, I have implemented a, a user interface where whenever we wanted to search, for example, in the account table, I have a thousands of records. I have a thousands of records. Now it is so difficult to identify where is that record. Whether do I have a record or not? Whether do I have a data or not? It is so difficult. So what I have done is I have implemented a, some search criteria. Now, it's similar like a Google. When you go to the Google, Google contains so much of information. Google contains so much of information. Now, if you wanted to find out anything that you will be searching here and click on the Google search, automatically it displays the data. Similarly, in the Salesforce also, I have implemented a search criteria. Now in this search, 
Now, whatever the data I have entered related to the account table, it should give me the output. Now, in order to implement this user interface, we have to use the technologies in the Salesforce is Visual Force, Lightning Aura component, Lightning Web component. Using these three, either of you can use it, Visual Force, Lightning Aura component, Lightning Web component, as well as the Lightning Flows. We have a, another one which is called Lightning Flows. Using this Lightning Flows, Visual Force, the another one which we have is Lightning Flows. Lightning Flows. Using this, we can implement a uh, application, the user interface we can implement. User interface we can implement. Now, this is at the front end. Now, between the user interface and back end, we have a business logic. Business logic is implemented using the Apex technology. We use a Apex in order to implement a business logic. Either Apex, we have a Apex Salesforce object query language and Salesforce object search language, which is also called as a Sockle and Saucer. By using the Apex, Sockle and Saucer, we will implement a business logic. Now let's assume that a user has entered here on the user interface, user has entered the ABC. Now when they enter the ABC, now the data will go to the business logic. That means user interface sends the request to the business logic. Now, business logic will cross verify the data and it will send the information to the database. So, database will receive the request and database will qualify like if there are any issues or not uh, while inserting the data inside the database.com. Is there any issues or not? So, it will everything will be modified. Everything will be cross verified in case if there are no issues. In case if there are no issues, the database will be sends the response back to the business logic. Business logic will cross verify the based on the response from the database and then it sends the response back to the user interface. Now based on this search criteria, I will be able to see the result. Now here the technologies are in the front end, visual force, lightning aura component, lightning web component, lightning flows. In the business logic, we have a Apex, Salesforce object query language, Salesforce object search language, and at the database, database.com. So these are the technologies and the functionalities, how we are going to use it in the Salesforce. Oh, small question. Uh, will Salesforce admin have access to all these three, the user interface, Apex, and database.com? Yes, they will be having access. Okay. Basically, whether it is the admin or developer, based on the license, we will be able to access all of them. So license is the key here. We will talk about the licenses going further. So based on the license, license is nothing but if you have a full license, whether it is an admin or developer, you have a full license, you will be able to see all this user interface, business logic or database. If you have a license to only certain information, like only the related to the charter information, charter information is only at the user interface. It's like a only chatting. Now you are going to post some information in the charter. So in that case, you need not to work on business logic, right? So in that case, only we need a user interface. So based on the license, the users will get access about the all the three things, front end, business logic, and back end. Now let's see the questions. Now in this scenario, what is front end here? Uh, LWC and auto components and uh visual force pages and lightning flows oh yeah lightning flows yeah what is back end here database.com back end is nothing but where the database is or the storage if we are storing the information which is called as a back end now what is the business logic uh, which includes a saucer circle and the triggers where you write in Apex language. 
So those are the technologies. So business logic is where we are going to customize the logic, where we are going to customize or modify the logic. So if I wanted to implement any logic, we will go for a business logic. Now, what are the front-end technologies are used that we have already discussed? The technologies are used, Visual Force, Lightning Aura, Lightning Web Component, and Lightning Flows. And what are the backend technologies? Backend technologies are database.com. And business logic technologies, business logic technologies are Apex, Salesforce Object Query Language, Salesforce Object Search Language. Now that's about the Salesforce technologies.